Hello everybody. In the previous section we had seen how to create a spring mass system that looks something like this and and we had assumed that there were five masses to be considered in the chain. However, um, imagine you had not five but five thousand masses. In that case, it would become practically impossible to connect all the masses manually to create the springs. So in such cases, instead of creating the whole uh, 5000 instance model in Abacus, I like to turn to the dot input file and uh, modifying that input file. So before I go ahead and show you how to do the modifications, let's look at what the input file even has uh, in, in this kind of a simulation model. So I am going to open the input file we had created that's in the temp folder, it's called job1. So uh, as you can see in the beginning you have the part initialization, then you have the assembly and after that follows the wire set, the stiffness, the dash part and then the nonlinear stiffness um, table after which you have the input displacement or boundary condition then step and uh, output and uh, output re request so as you can see here um, uh, where do we see yeah so instance of mass 1 instance 2 3 4 5 instead of 5 if we had 5000 instances then this number would just uh, increment up to 5000 that's pretty straightforward and then these connections here so m1 5 is connected to m2 5 so this could be the dash part which means the m1 5 was connected to the m2 5 so it could either be the dashboard or the stiffness but because we don't have a stiffness defined so it has to be the dashboard so that's one and then here you have the wire set that you had defined um, and so so on so forth so these are pretty straightforward actually uh, so what I'm going to do is create all of those in MATLAB and just copy it from there and paste it within this block so it's just that straightforward at this point so let me go ahead open the MATLAB code show you what it has um, so it asks you two inputs one is value that is the number of unit cells you want we had five just now so right now I would just have ten and lattice length uh, one millimeter we already have defined a lattice length of one millimeter so I'm gonna keep that unchanged I don't want to change that although I can um, and I'm going to okay so also in this MATLAB code is the force versus displacement curve that is required so you can input these values and instead of copying it from the Excel sheet just go ahead and input these values so run this code finished running now what that code did is it created these files 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that files so these are text files open them one after another and so these are the instances now so you have m2 linear 10 so all you have to do is copy all of that and paste it here to replace this block now something I would like to mention here is when I created the MATLAB code I had the part name as m1 underscore 1 so instead of the m1 that I have in the previous code in the present code I'm going to replace the name so before anything I am going to create a copy 
of the input file so that's the copy and open that and now I'm going to make all the changes in this copy so about the part name what I was saying is I'm going to name it m1 underscore 1 and then the next one is here another underscore 1 then m2 underscore 1 and then another m2 underscore 1 that is because in my excel file I have the part name as m1 underscore 1 and m2 underscore 1 so instead of changing all of these I just changed the part name here so next what I'm going to do is select all of this copy and go to assembly block assembly wherever the first instance begins from there to wherever it ends with a double star delete all of that and paste the one that MATLAB created and be sure to delete that space now after that is done open the second one copy all of that and paste it here delete and then number three copy and then remember you have to only replace the wire set up to here delete that space now here you have 14 comma 18 you have to change that number it was 14 18 because um, right after the instances you had 14 to 18 but in your case you would have um, 29 to 38 so I'm going to change that 14 comma 18 to 29 comma 38. Once that is through, um, I'll open the next one, number four. Copy, paste there, and the next one. And be sure not paste it in the wrong place. Number six, copy that's there. Paste it. Now after that you have the nonlinear stiffness curve. all of that paste it and delete that extra space now your file is basically ready at this point save it now here let me show you an example if you had not 10 but a thousand then I would just change that to a thousand run it it takes a little longer than before because the files are much bigger now so open the all instance file now if you scroll down all the way through you will see how it has created um, 1000 instances and also all the other stuff like say the connections so m1 thousand instance is connected to the m2 thousand uh, thousand instance so this is probably the dashboard connection between the M1 and M2 of each lattice. So you have the input file ready here and you can now run the simulation at this point. And that's how you go from 5 unit cells to any number actually say 5000. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you.